AdSense for the Hyundai Santa Cruz. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rod Motive MT. And today I'm going to be adding some new accents to the Hyundai Santa Cruz. One that I've been working on for a while, it's the front emblem you can see right there. I had a different one on if you saw that video. I didn't like it, so I decided to black it out with some bed liner. There's a video on how to pull it off and how I did all that, but it's time to put it on. Going to install a little bit of double-sided tape since I can't put the pressure washers on the back of the emblem where the studs go through here. Seemed to work fine before, so we're going to do that again. And then I have some uh, little accent badges, if you will, for the side of the truck. Now, these are channel badges, of course. They come from a company called Tough Skins, and uh, they're pretty cool. You can customize them any way you want. I'm just using them for advertising, obviously, for the channel. And check them out. It's toughskins.com, and there is a discount code. It's RobMotive10 for 10% off. So let me show you those. I'll show you the badge over here as well. This is the badge. It's been drying, curing, resting uh, for a few days. So it should be ready. Probably, if I'm being honest, could, la could go a little bit longer, but I'm impatient and I'm ready to get it put on. The other thing, these badges I was talking about, they're right here. Um, again, they come from Tough Skins. And what we did, they are adhesive back, so you could stick them on with adhesive if you want. I didn't want to do that, so we actually got some flat magnetic material, if you will, I guess. You can get it on Amazon anywhere, and then cut it out, put it on the back, stuck it to the adhesive, and then these become magnetic badges. I'll show you. Here's a metal cabinet, and they just stick on like so. Same way that they're going to go on the Hyundai Santa Cruz. Now, you might be wondering, is the magnet strong enough to hold them on? Well, I've had them, these actually, on a different truck. They work just fine. And I have them now in a different color on my current Toyota Tacoma. One on each side here in a color to match the theme. That's going to be changing, by the way. But I've never had any problems with them flying off or anything at highway speeds, anything like that. So they hold on really, really well. So next up, I'm going to put a little bit of double-sided tape, as I mentioned, back here. And then we're going to go ahead and pop that emblem back on the front. We'll see how that looks. And then I'll put the badges on the side, and uh, we'll see how that looks. Okay, we are all prepared, set up, and ready to go. I did put some tape just on the inside areas behind these tabs. Uh, I did that in hopes that it would contact some here and provide a little bit more holding power. I don't think it really hits, but can't hurt. And then over here around these holes, which again is where the studs go through that would have pressure washers behind them, I put some tape as well. And the idea there is that it's gonna contact these little nubs down here at the bottom. And from the indentations on the last ones in the tape, I could see that it does indeed impact um, that little stud area. So that helps just a little bit too. And otherwise, it's just held in by friction or pressure. So we have the tabs, they go in the slots. We have the locator pin here, or right there, that goes in this hole, and that helps to kind of align everything. And that's pretty much it. So this isn't really rocket science. So let's go ahead and uh, stick it in there. Hopefully I didn't ruin any of the tabs. I don't think I did. Uh, now we just push and hope we hear a snap. Wish me luck. And we did a bit. There's the snap. There's another snap. Another snap. And this side already went in. So that's it. We had snaps on all four corners. That's good. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure here where those tabs are or those studs to kind of hold it against the the bottom edges as I showed you guys. And uh, then we'll come back on, we'll take a look at it on the truck, see if it looks any better than the last version I did. All right, we've got that very difficult front emblem job done. Now it's time to do an equally difficult job and that is to put the magnets on the side. Hopefully these are metal 
I have not checked, we're gonna find out. But before we put them on, obviously you'll wanna clean the area you're gonna magnetize them or stick them to, if you will. I just use my little soapy concoction. By the way, if you're wondering, it's just about six drops of non-ammonia containing uh, dish detergent or dish soap and then water. And I say non-ammonia containing because I use this to clean my windows which are tinted, and you'd never want to use ammonia on tinted windows because they will, over time, eat the film. Uh, so, we just want to kind of spray this off a little bit. Yeah, I know, I should be washing the whole truck, right? But, you know, I'm not a big fan of washing vehicles at all. So, we're just going to clean that off a little bit, right, where I'm going to put it. And don't worry, it'll get dirty again real soon, so everything will match all, all nice and Dirty. So again, just kind of cleaned it off a little. This isn't rocket science, I know. Once again, like the front wasn't. Uh, and then stick them on. Positioning them is all dependent on you, where you want them. I'm gonna put these about yay far down, somewhere like this, kind of matching what I did on the Tacoma sitting over there that I showed you earlier. So we're gonna just take a guess. We do want them to be straight. So I guess I have to get down a little bit, you know, get down, and we're going to put it about right there, I think. Good thing about magnets is, you know, hey, if you want to move it or it isn't straight, it's pretty simple to do. And I might actually grab a level, put it on the bottom of the letter, just to make sure it's level. Let's see. Okay, it took me a couple minutes to find my level because my wife decided it needed to be somewhere other than where I normally keep it. You ever have that problem? All right, let's see. Let's see if I got it low. This is a very picky thing, of course. And the answer would be no, it's way off level. But I have a feeling that sitting it on here is never going to be level anyway because where we're, of where we're putting it. So we're really going more with the naked eye and how it looks. So I think about right there is perfectly fine. I'm gonna go do the other side. We'll get a broader look at it. You can see what it looks like. All right, we've got both sides on. They should be pretty much equidistant from the top or the hood area. Uh, at least that was my goal. That's what it looks like on the side of the truck. Again, it's a little bit of an advertisement for the channel. Rob Motive, it's missing the MT, but if anybody's looking, they'll certainly find all the channels under Rob Motive. But that's what it looks like over there. Let's go back over here. That's what it looks like there. And I am uh, happy to report that the fender is metal, uh, at least uh, enough metal in it so that the badges actually stick. So before we sign off here, let's take a quick look at what I've got on this truck so far uh, in the way of modifications. These are all aesthetic. Of course, we have the license plate bracket Eh, not much of a mod there. We do have the Santa Cruz lettering. That's pretty cool. I like that. I think that looks really good. Let's go over here. Oops, missed the back. We have the channel uh, name, of course, there, as well as a badge over there. That's pretty cool. I do need to change that one out uh, to Rob Motive MT. Just have to go ahead and get them. Again, over here on the side, the new little emblem or badge. And I did put the caps over the mirrors. This is a faux carbon fiber. It's not real. It's kind of like a pattern in plastic, if you will. But they came out really good. It's not a perfect fit, but it's very picky where it isn't. Uh, I think these look pretty cool. Just add a little bit of accent coloring and design to the, the Santa Cruz, I think. And then the latest, the front badge in black. One more time over here, the other badge, and of course, the mirror cap. Now, inside, I am going to see about getting some uh, covers, some sill plate covers to protect this area, as well as in the back here. Uh, I think they're definitely needed. I just heard from somebody the other day, uh, left me a comment on one of the videos about how somebody had gotten into their Santa Cruz and scratched that sill area because it's not protected. So I definitely think it's something that the, the truck should have. Do have a couple of other things coming too. 
I'm waiting uh, on delivery uh, to finish one mod I have coming up and then a few other things that I've ordered. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know. What do you think of the new badging on the front of the truck and the little advertising badges I have on the end? And don't forget, if you want to get something like those, you can get any pattern of design that you want at toughskins.com. Check them out. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, all about the Toyota Tacoma, and Rob Motive JT, all about Jeep Gladiators. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.